hi thanks for dropping in Hallie's creations I appreciate you um, checking out my channel plaque today that a client had asked me she's also a friend to make for her she loves the Dodgers so we're making a Dodgers plaque for her so what we're going to use is, is we're going to use some of these letters that I just picked up LA Dodgers get it <laughs> anyway we're going to use these letters I have also um, sanded down the boards I will show you that the difference when you sand it see how smooth that looks and how it brings out the grain then over here it's rough still you can still see that circular action from when they ran this through the mill so it's really important to sand this down before you start going to town on it just because it's just prettier <laughs> when you're doing these projects make sure you mask up I am wearing a mask I wish I had my N95 but they're in short supply right now so I'm just using a regular mask but mask up, wear your glasses or your goggles. Always use safety, be safe. Um, don't do something out there halfway and get yourself hurt. Don't wanna do that. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show you the difference between sanded and before it's sanded. I know you might not be able to tell the difference too much on the screen, but when you fill it, there's definitely a difference. what I'm doing. One of the things I wanted to point out is when you're bracketing your boards, don't go cheap. <laughs> Get one that's really going to do the job. When you're doing your screws for your plaque, make sure that screw's not too long where it's going to poke through the front of the plaque. Go with a little shorter, stronger one. That's what I did with this one. And I'm going to actually tilt this down so you can see what I'm talking about. When you're doing your screws, put on your brackets. You don't want those screws to come through the front of your, ah, let's move this off here. See how this is? Now this screw is not gonna come through the front piece. If I was to use the screw that came with the bracket, it would poke through. So sometimes I'll have to get shorter screws depending on the thickness of your wood. Okay, so I just wanted to point that out because I'd hate for you to get in there and get all excited and start putting it all together and then have the screws poke, poke through on the other side. Another thing is when you're sanding your pieces down, like I sanded this one down, this is the back side of it. You want to make sure that they match up in here as well because sometimes they're wonky. So you might have to grind that down a smidge with the sander. Also, you can put a little bit of glue in here just to pull that together to make it tight before you put your brackets on. And I'm doing the longer brackets and the reason for that is I feel it will just make it more secure. I don't want to put the screws too close to the edge. When you do that, you have the possibility, just like I explained on the, um, the frames, you have the real good chance of cracking that and splitting that and you don't want to do that. You want to we're going to come off at least about an eighth, eighth, of, an eighth of an inch. So when you're picking your brackets out for these, you can do the shorter one. I'm going to do the longer one. I don't want my screws to be too close to the edge of the wood because when I do bracket it together, I don't want that splitting. So I'm actually going to glue this together, use the longer one, bracket it with the shorter screw, but a nice sturdy screw. And that's gonna give me that professional effect, that smoothness, and it's also gonna give durability. When I send something out the door, I wanna make sure it looks good. Also, make sure when you're, um, you're going about half an inch, 
when you're putting your screws in. You don't want to get your screws too close to the edge. Like I said, you don't want you don't want to crack your wood. That would just really be sad. So anyway, without further ado, we're going to get going on this. So the first thing I'm going to do is the back side. We're going to put the brackets on. Brackets. the third bracket just because I wanted it more secure and I wasn't really excited about how it was laying in the front so that was to bring it together make it tighter so yeah I did three in three three instead of two <laughs> so three brackets is better than two brackets hey so you'll notice that I did the outline on here before I whitewashed it and the reason I did that is I don't want that chalkiness to come through when I actually do paint it, but I do need the outline to do my lettering because that is not my area of expertise at all. <laughs> so I kind of need to have that on there. <laughs> so I'm gonna whitewash this here and do the lettering, put on our big lettering, <laughs> and we'll be done. Oh, after I put the brackets on the back. Just gotta be able to hang it somehow, right? <laughs> so we're gonna put some brackets on the back.
sure when you look at your nails that they're not going to go all the way through your board and poke out on the other side when you're making a black. You want to make sure that they're strong enough and short but strong enough. But let's try it this way. See, this will work. <laughs> okay, so we're going to use the brackets. We're, we're doing. We'll do the paint, the artistic part of it, and it'll be done. Bam. Done. Sorry, I'm choking outside the um, sawdust here. But anyway, um, when you're doing these projects, make sure you mask up. I am wearing a mask. I wish I had my N95, but they're in short supply right now. So I'm just using a regular mask. But mask up, wear your glasses or your goggles. Always use safety, be safe. I'm wearing my husband's mask. It's, it's, not, as, it's not as hot. <laughs> it's so much better, it's lighter. I put the brackets on the back. She's got to be able to hang it somehow, right? <laughs> so we're going to put some brackets on the back. And it will be done. Bam! Done! <laughs>